Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the road trip series. And um, today, you remember during the last episode, we got to a place in Aitua Meru, but unfortunately, we ran into some uh, very heavy chaos. And I promised that the next video I was going to do, we had to complete the journey to Meru. But this time round, we won't be using the Chuka direction because already you guys have seen uh, most of it, and we aren't actually too far off from Meru anyway. We were basically some 50, 40 kilometers away. So today, we'll be doing the same trip. Lakini leo tunapitia hii direction ingine, hii direction ya will be routing via Nyeri, Nanyuki, Timau, which is a very scenic route by the way. So it's kind of like we will be circumventing uh, Mount Kenya and I know you guys are going to enjoy this trip. On today's episode, we will be driving uh, 2016 Audi SQ5. This vehicle is available at Kai and Karo. Remember we have a very crazy website. It's called kaiancaro.com. You can head over to that website, check out all the nice cars that we are stocking. And um, we also offer a sale on behalf service. So this is one of the products that we have. I've just collected this vehicle from the owner's uh, place, Upper South B. Um, uh, I'm at a place called, uh, in it was the estate? Balozi. Balozi. Yeah, we, were at, we, were, we just collected it at a place called Balozi. So we are departing from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from South B and we will be routing via Outer Ring. We join Thika Road to Nyoroshe Evo, past Thika Town, past Kenol. And then once we get to Makutano, where we branched off last time towards the Moya direction, we will proceed straight on. Nikama tunenda Nyeri. And then Nyeri, then past Nyeri we go to Nanyuki. Past Nanyuki we go to Timao, past Timao. Uh, there's a place called Sumbuiga or something. And then we, we will approach uh, Meru from the north. So it's going to be a very interesting trip. I'm joined by my colleagues. Munene. Munene. <laughs> Keith. Keith. Shiko. So Keith works for the spare parts department. Ukitaka any engine, ukitaka any uh, easy my body kit, nini? Nani is your, nani is your go to go guy? Uh, Muema is your go to go guy. Munene works for the import department. If you need a quote on any vehicle, anywhere in the world, these are the guys who handle the shipping, who handle the quotes, and who basically, who basically do that job. And over there, we have Shiko who works in the local sales department. So if you wanted to buy this SQ5, you would actually talk to Shiko. Utakuja showroom, ulizia Shiko, she's going to sort you out, atakonye shagari, na ata. And she's going to sort uh, nata, nata kupatia any information you will need on this particular vehicle. So something interesting uh, about the Audi SQ5. This vehicle is the is a is a high performance version of the normal Q5. So we are currently running a 3000 cc engine that makes around uh, 330 HP to 350 HP. I'm not sure about the exact number, but it's somewhere in between there. And um, it comes with an 8-speed ZF gearbox, so performance yake, very, very nice. The, Z, ZF, the ZF gearbox is perfect because sababu ina kupati anga a wide range of performance. If you want quick acceleration, you'll get quick acceleration. If you want fuel economy, it also gives you fuel economy. And um, this 3000cc engine does not have a turbo. It has a supercharger. There's a difference. So the turbo is uh, powered by the exhaust gases from the vehicle's uh, exhaust system. But a turbo is linked directly to the engine's crankshaft via means of a belt. So hapa hakuna lag. Hapa tukikanyaga accelerator in Aruka. And I'm also very, very excited to be driving the SQ5. I've owned an Audi Q5 before, but I've never really taken an SQ5 for a very long road trip. Because I think today we'll be covering around 200 kilometers, the distance from where I am right now to Meru via, via Nanyuki. It's going to be 200 kilometers. So pretty, pretty excited. Very beautiful car. It's on sale. We are we are giving it a very good offer of, uh, of uh, 4.9 million Kenya shillings. So head over to kayankaro.com and browse through our collection. See hi peke ziko mingi. And um, thanks a lot for watching the video in advance. Now watch her to depart and I give you a quick tour of this vehicle's cabin. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, welcome to the cockpit of the 2016 Audi SQ5. 3000 cc supercharged and um, as usual I always like starting from this end. So the Audi SQ5 essentially looks like a standard Q5 from the interior. And unless you're a very keen Audi owner, you wouldn't uh, really tell the difference from the basic layout. But anyway, um, on this section over here, you have a very nice uh, carbon fiber trim, which is which is not really standard on the SQ5. It can either come with a carbon fiber trim. I've seen others come in with a metal trim and I've seen variants from Singapore still come in with a wood option. But this one has a, has a carbon uh, carbon style trim. You have your seat controls over here so you can uh, you can uh, memory 
you, 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 you can save your last memory settings on the seat using these buttons over here. These ones control your windows. These control your side mirrors. Audis have a very interesting uh, feature, yeah, cool hit side mirror, which works very well in places like Europe where the, the, the side mirror might actually fog up because of the ice. And um, here you have the light controls currently set at auto. So if you are on, on auto, the vehicle will decide what are the best light settings depending on the condition you're in. I really like it at auto because when you drive through a tunnel, the lights actually come on automatically. This is the cluster. We have a very beautiful cluster over here. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, I'm not seeing anything drastic. We don't have any warning lights. The vehicle is in perfect condition. Speedometer goes from zero to three hundred kilometers, like the Golfer. I said for dramatic effect. We don't have enough fuel, so I'll have to stop at a petrol station up and belly. You can control a, lo a lot of the modes uh, using this menu over here. So you can connect your phone, uh, browse through your FM stations, uh, start check your trip computer. Kama sahi na sema tunakunya 2.2 kilometers per liter, which is a lie. This car gets you around uh, 8.5 to 9 kilometers per liter. Hapa we have the, oh, I forgot to mention, kuna paddle shifters. If you want to shift the gears uh, manually on this car, you can do that easily with these uh, buttons over here. And here we have a cruise control, uh, which is linked to a, it's called, it's linked to a, to a radar guided adaptive cruise control system. So you are able to, con to, to, to control the distance between your vehicle ahead and your position using this button over here. You notice when I press this button, I'm seeing a couple of dots. So that's an indication about the sort of distance we'll be maintaining. So you can set the speed and you can set the distance. We call that adaptive cruise control. Comfort features, mostly you can access them from here. There's a side view camera so that I'm able to see on the side because you can see I'm parked on the road. There's a lot of litter. And um, there's the Audi Drive Select, which gives you which gives you controls to how you want the vehicle to perform. So there are many options, dynamic, individual, efficiency, comfort, and auto. If you want it to get maximum performance, we will uh, use the dynamic, and I'm going to demonstrate that as we drive. We're going to sit heating upper, so the seats are actually heated. This vehicle has a half leather and half suede uh, interior, which I find to be very comfortable. I personally don't like a full leather interior. I prefer the half leather interior style. This is uh, Audi's MMI and you control it using the buttons that are right over here. So come up, these are the car settings, the drive select as I was saying, you can access the media settings by pressing the media button and you get all these options of media, jukebox, SD card, you insert the SD cards here, kuna DVD player, there's a Bluetooth, there's a TV, so if you see the TV tuner, tells you that the vehicle is from Japan. Here we have the start, stop, the start engine button, the engine is already running, so no reason to use that. This particular unit does not have a sunroof, but most of them tend to come with sunroofs. But um, for a sunroof version, you'll pay 5.5 or 5.4 million. For this one, we'll give it to you at 4.9. So you save 600,000 by foregoing the sunroof, which is a lot of money. And um, here is the team and we depart. So to a handbrake, belts on. Let's go. Side mirror clear, mbele clear. Uh, yeah, go. Wow. It's very powerful, huh? The first, the, from the moment you first uh, start driving the SK5, you'll notice the power. The steering adjustment is um, is is manual, and this seat is really raised. So let me just drop it a bit. I like sinking into my seat. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So let me just boost it. Whoa! <laughs> you see, I'm Ferrari, That's a big engine. It's a 3,000 cc. Um, uh, V6 supercharged and uh, the mu the sound is it makes music to my ears. So we are joining. Uh, this should be forgetting the name of this road. But in Afar, when to Lunga Lungalunga road. This should be Lunga Lunga. Eh? Lunga Lunga. Yeah, Lunga, Lunga. Lunga Lunga will drive straight into Peleke Hadi outer ring. I'm going to look for a petrol station up outer ring and then we refuel. Alafu tuende kama tumenyorosha.
going past uh, Githurai. We should be currently probably 180 kilometers away from our destination. Githurai is a very interesting place. <laughs> I think east side, this is 44. Yeah, this, this is Githurai 44 on this side. Yeah. And then on the right side, if you're driving towards Dika, this is Githurai 45. Uh, massive, massive uh, settlement. Stretches all the way. Um, so it's quite, it's quite a big place. And I think this particular local area marks the switch from uh, Nairobi County to Kiambu County. Yeah. So we're just crossing over into Kiambu County. Beautiful day, uh, a bit more traffic than I had anticipated for, but we are coping well. And um, currently we are getting an indication of uh, seven kilometers per liter on the SQ5. Just try and uh, overtake some guys here and you see. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> This guy is very addictive, and I normally joke, um, with these powerful cars you really need to be careful, otherwise he could kwa baba ni dakika moja. Na si huyu baba wetu, the real baba. <laughs> uh, so this one, this guy, this guy, this guy will, uh, will kill you if you're not very careful. This is uh, Kahawa Barracks. So we are cruising on nicely, we show you how this thing pushes. Doesn't feel safe, so I'm just going to turn down until we clear this uh, traffic. Traffic. Currently, top of the hour, 3 p.m., and uh, we're maintaining the uh, constant speed. And um, uh, huh. we just gone past the uh, kennel, so we've covered roughly around uh, 50 kilometers up to this point. So I think the stretch from uh, kennel to to that bridge, Ile Bridge, and yet Tana River, mena konga mtogani, Tana River, Tana. I think this is uh, this uh, stretch from uh, kennel coming down to Makuyu. It's a very good place for me to demonstrate the the driver assist features of the of the Audi SQ5. So let me just clear these bumps and we are we'll start with the, with the adaptive cruise control. I'm going to set it up and we are going to see how it actually works. Let me just adjust my camera slightly. Yeah, so that you get a good view of the interior. So I'm going to press, uh, first of all, we act activate the cruise control by pressing that button. So we have an indication that the cruise control is working. Let me push it on. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. This a VW group. This is my cruise control. Oh, okay. So off to cancel and on. So, uh, sorry. Yes, so it's now working, yeah. Uh, so let me set the speed. The speed indication is, in the, is here. So we are going to set a speed of 120 km. So my feet are completely off the off the brakes and the accelerator. We just put my trigger trigger finger. Eh? Ni trigger foot ama ni nini? <laughs> so I'm not stepping on the accelerator or anything. So the vehicle is ideally supposed to maintain distance with that forest ahead. And I'm able to increase the speed by simply pressing this button like that. So let's bump it up to 140, which is a bit fast. And let's see what happens when we close or when we close into this uh, guy and there's a bump coming up. I think I'll have to take manual control. Lapo, we weren't expecting that bump. The, the reason I had to take manual control was um, the, the cruise control can be very aggressive at times when it comes to braking. So in such a scenario, you want to do the braking yourself. And it may not also be able to see bumps. That's something very good to note. Adaptive cruise control will not detect bumps, but it will detect vehicles ahead. So let me just uh, set it. So I'm accelerating using the cruise control. Hands off. And um, yeah, the vehicle is picking on its own. So I want it. I want us to get to 140. Let me indicate and come to this lane. Notice what happens. The vehicle breaks on its own. Because it, uh, it, it, it actually detected uh, a probox that's like probably 50 meters ahead of us. And you can set the intervention distance by playing around with this button over here. So notice what I do. So I want, us, I want us to really, really get close to him. That's when the vehicle will intervene. And you can also set a longer intervention distance if you're going at a higher speed. 
so if you're driving at a very high speed you want a longer intervention distance so even right now this car won't accelerate but this current speed because it's still reading that guy but if we reduce the intervention speed by doing that you can see the indication over here now the vehicle can actually accelerate you see I'm accelerating yeah my feet still not on the gas or on the brake pedal you see we are cruising very well let me just increase the intervention speed because of the because of the speeds that we are going at so the higher the speed the higher the intervention speed you want let me just come behind him and notice what the vehicle does brakes on its own to match his speed so that is the audi sq5 uh, adaptive cruise control demonstrated it's not really the selling point for this car let me show you what the selling point for this car is so let me deactivate everything disable the autopilot thing now let's push the vehicle so let me set it on spot by doing that let's push it and see so 140 160 going to take this corner to 140 bmw guy maintain your lane so we're making the corner at 160 very stable very very stable look at that car very very stable this is why you pay top dollar for an sq5 very powerful engine that doesn't struggle um the vehicle doesn't seem to even feel the effect on the road oh and notice distance i got a warning from the vehicle warning me that at the speed which i was at there was the risk of an imminent collision now if i don't intervene on time the vehicle is going to break on its own so let's go from uh, zero to 100 and see so we are at uh, zero let's go you can hear the turbo sp the supercharger is pulling up 80 100 almost in an instant i don't even know what the time was but according to audi it should be around six seconds 160 chewing a hill with 180 and accelerating so that's the power of a 350 hp 3000 cc supercharged engine from audi Sasa tumefika makutano. You remember last time tukiwa na golfer, eh? We routed via this side. Tulienda hiyo direction. Past uh, Mwea, the rice fields of Mwea. We got some very nice shots of the rice fields of Mwea. Tukapita Mwea, tukakimbia hivo, kama tumeenda embu, kama tumenyorosha. Atu chuka we, kwenye mambo iliumana. You can actually go and check out that video. It's the last video I posted before I posted this one. So that road goes to, that diversion takes you to Mwea. Now, today we are staying on course. Ni kama tunenda nyeri. So you're just going to maintain on this road evo constantly, constantly, constantly until it ufikishe, it ufikishe pale a place called Marwa Junction. And then from Marwa Junction, we will leave the road that goes to Nyeri and divert towards Nanyuki. To Pite Nanyuki, to Nyoroshe evo, Timau, and uh, so far, so far, everything is looking good. The only thing we have to look out for is this road. It's very dangerous because Babu is under construction. So there are many patches where uh, kuna bumps, random bumps from nowhere. Big dog will also find these uh, trucks. Look, look at those bumps. I wasn't expecting them. No signs. So you really have to be careful because of those uh, things. They can really uh, mess your day up. But apart from that, everything else uh, is going nicely. I'm really enjoying uh, this vehicle, and we are having fun. We are having fun. So right now it's uh, 3:25 p.m. But the government is doing an excellent job with the infrastructure. At least, unapata barabara za kupush hizi magari hivi. 
you just push it kidogo and try make up for some of the lost time is a very beautiful country as you can clearly see oh shit apologies the fact that there's another road on the other side but uh, you actually get carried away so very very risky road but anyway i was saying kenya is a very beautiful country you can um you can clearly see the, the rolling hills very beautiful place we just gone past the karatina town where munene is telling me the deputy president comes from Truthful, I don't go truthful men. <laughs> Rigiji, yeah, so we've just passed the Rigiji's hometown. So now we're heading to Marwa Junction and we are going to divert, uh, we, are, we are going to branch off from this road that will, if you follow this road straight, it will take you to Nyeri. Our objective today is not to route via Nyeri, but we want to go directly to Nanyuki, Timao, and uh, straight on north like that. So it's a very, very um, uh, nasty road because Ababunona. There are patches that have not been made. So you drive very well, then you get to a section like this where the road is very bad. But the suspension on the Q5 uh, is quite comfortable. It does not have air suspension, as most people would assume. But there is, this is a very good point to talk about the differences of the normal Q5 and the SQ5. So the, the normal Q5, as we said earlier, is standard. It comes a standard with a 2000cc engine. The SQ5 is offered a standard with a 3000cc engine. Uh, something else, um, I think, uh, I'm not very sure if they share the suspension, but one thing I'm sure about now from uh, from the perspective of a Q5 owner, a guy who's on the Q5, the Q5 has a softer suspension compared to what is here. On the SQ5, it's more of sporty suspension, and I suspect that the, uh, it's called the the ride height on the, on, the, on the SQ5 could be probably a few millimeters lower, because this one is more oriented for performance. Uh, something else is that the SQ5 is offered with bigger brakes than the normal Q5, so you get you get bigger brakes, and you get a very loud uh, quad exhaust, which is music to your ears when you're boosting this vehicle down the road, chewing up the hills of Karatina. We've just gotten to Marwa Junction. This is where we'll be turning. So let me just indicate and uh, join this lane. Optiven is selling plots everywhere in Kenya. I'm going to talk on a billboard up. <laughs> Quite interesting. So we are we are heading to this direction. So as I've said, that direction will take you to, Ny to Nyeri. Now, before you get carried away, we are talking about the performance differences between the normal Q5 and the SQ5. And we've said that the SQ5 is offered with um, a, a stiffer uh, sport suspension. Uh, you also get bigger rims. I've seen Q5s come in stock from the factory. SQ5s come in stock from the factory with the 21 inch uh, rims there's a 21 inch uh, factory option uh, for wheel option for the sq5 this one i think is running on 20 inch rims the q5 is offered a standard with uh, with uh, it comes with 19 inch rims so uh, the package does not only involve about uh, it does not only involve performance the other things you'll also notice like the seats i think the seating on the on the sq5 feels more premium and most of them come standard with the boss sound on the other side, the the standard Q5 is offered with, um, assuming it comes with a bang and a loose end, because it's not really standard to find the boss sound on the normal Q5. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the road trip. I'm really enjoying myself. This is a very powerful car. And the advantage with going for a road trip with a powerful car is how chokangi, how choki kabisa. It's very fun. It doesn't have air suspension, just normal coil spring suspension, but it feels very fun. And you can see how I'm enjoying taking these corners. Look at the, look 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 at that scenery. Kenya is very very beautiful, very very beautiful. Yeah. 
Kiganzo in Akwanga, Kiganzo should be somewhere up the road. Up and Bele. Yeah, so we should be passing uh, Kenya as a premier police training uh, college, Kiganzo Police College. So it should be. Sorry, this is Bantu Africa Resort. Oh, I've never heard of it. We should check it out sometime. So we are going uh, on this road and we, it's going to take us directly to Nanyuki. Chaka town. Time is uh, uh, four, 20 minutes to 5 pm. We just have Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya is on my right side. Kwapi? Komalia. Oh, Pale. Uh, so we, we just have beam uh, Mount Kenya. Um, it's such a pity that the weather is not very good. Otherwise, we'd have gotten very, very good shots of Mount Kenya. But our route today takes us kind of around uh, Mount Kenya. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping maybe to Kizungukie upande ingine, ile upande, uh, it's called the Timau direction, which is the leeward side of the mountain, which doesn't get a lot of uh, clouds and rain. We should probably get better views of the mountain. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just applying my small uh, weather knowledge. But um, uh, we should be around probably 30 kilometers to Nanyuki. Nanyuki yeah. Yeah, 30 kilometers to Nanyuki. Yeah. On the other side, on the left side of the vehicle, we have... Um, the Abadeas range, yeah. So it's a very interesting thing because uh, on one side you have Mount Kenya, on the other side you have you have the Abadeas. So there's normally a corridor in the middle. When when, when you are flying Kenda North, you normally try and pass between those two uh, those two terrains. So very interesting. You boost it up a bit. So let's, uh, let's go. Just got into Nanyuki town, aka Mushuareli, which is where the this railway, the Central Kenya Railway, terminates. Actually, so we are on the leeward side of. Uh, sorry, we are on the leeward side of Mount Kenya. So you notice even the weather has cleared. Pretty interesting uh, geography. Towards the Nyeri side, it's very green. Towards this side, going from Nanyuki, which is like a last frontier town, we can even know the sasa it's Kunanzanga Kukua very, very, very dry. So very interesting uh, place this is. I think I might be hooked on you. I love the things you said, you said to me, to me, it seems like you like me too. We can't oh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten to Timau uh, clearly as we look at the map. Timau, uh, Mount Kenya is on our right and um, Timo is a very interesting place. Eh? I I still a, a part of my brain still calls this a white man's country because there are very many white settlers who live in Nanyuki. There are guys who actually own ranches here and commute to Nairobi via aeroplane. Watu naishi maisha. Huku watu naishi maisha maisha ya movie. And there's a, and there's a very famous uh, polo polo stadium somewhere in in, uh, in Timau. 
So it's a very nice place. In fact, if I if I make enough money, this is a good place to buy a ranch, have a small plane, and just retire. So Mount Kenya is somewhere over there. Again, it's been covered by the weather. The weather on that mountain is normally very insane. And um, we are currently estimating 49 minutes only to, to Meru town. And the interesting bit is, by the way, if you proceed straight with this road, up to a place called Ni uh, Sumbuiga, where, where there's the junction. When you take the junction at Sumbuiga, which I'm going to show you, that road takes you to Moyale. Moyale is another like probably 500 kilometers from this point, at the border of Kenya and uh, Ethiopia. So it's become a very popular route, and we will be doing it very soon. In fact, I'll want to do that route with the. I'll want to do a road trip from Nairobi maybe to Ethiopia. But if I'm going to do that route, I'm going to do it with the Cayenne. I think it's way way more comfortable, and you need that sort of comfort when you're driving for such a long distance. But anyway. Notice how clear the weather is becoming towards this direction. That's because we are now completely on the leeward side of Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya is over there. To me end we with track Kopale. Gizi Nenda Ikingia and Timau has some very nice scenery. You'll see a lot of um in Itangwa what plants are grown here? Canola and uh -huh. also there's canola and there's wheat. Uh, I've seen some crazy Photos, what on pikiya on this on this stretch? Galum to piki piki. Do the guys are funny? The guy wants to stay on the middle of the road. I can hear. I end in view. Oh, I can see. There's another second. So this canola. Eh? What does canola do? I don't even know. Oh, okay. It's kind of like over vegetable oil. Oil. Kitu kama yoy. Interesting. We learn every day. So I know you're probably wondering. Yeah, what will be the? Maybe I'm not. A, maybe you're not an Audi person. What will be the competition for the Audi SQ5? Mostly, if you ask me, I'd tell you the most serious competition, a vehicle that delivers almost the same uh, performance as the SQ5, it should be the BMW X3 and the N55 engine. There's a reason why I'm using almost delivers the same performance. Because I, I personally think that the BMW, uh, sorry, the Audi SQ5 occupies a very unique uh, niche category. Because you'll find um, most manufacturers don't really we, with the exception of the full-size SUVs like the Range Rover SVR, like the BMW M5 or like the Mercedes G63, in these compact these compact SUVs, most manufacturers don't 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 consider doing uh, full performance versions of their cars. So the SQ5 does not have a lot of competition. But if you wanted something of an alternative, if you really if you're really not an Audi person, I'd, I'd probably recommend uh, you go for the BMW X3. Well, as for me, I think I love the SQ5 because um, it delivers, you know, you get that very good performance. You can tune this car, by the way. Stock, as we said, it makes 350 HP. Buy a pulley upgrade for the supercharger. Get a downpipe. Um, get a bigger intercooler. And you're good to go. And maybe put some RSQ8 brakes on it and some 22-inch wheels. And this is a vehicle you could actually take to the track and give Subaru, GTI, and Golf R boys a run for their money. With this SUV, and still it's reliable enough to be driven every day. That's another thing. It's a powerful car, but it's also very, very reliable, and you can drive it any day. It's very hard to kill that uh, big three-liter motor, by the way. So we are cruising nicely. Let me try and boost it up, Kidogo, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, let us know where where Munataka Twende in our next video. You can just post up those comments. But the next video, I itakuwa gari. Itakuwa and uh, I'm not going to give you many details, but make sure you subscribe and uh, continue following the page because we'll be posting a lot of new content.
we are we are currently estimating a few um, a few kilometers to Meru, roughly to Mesmani, 15 kilometers, eh? yeah. around 15 10 kilometers to Meru town. We've just gone past uh, Sumbuiga, that beautiful town, and you mona kwa drone, and you a very nice hills, and there's a junction that takes you to Isiolo. So come on, take up north. You normally fika at that junction, and then you turn towards the Isiolo direction. So it's kind of like uh, the last major frontier, the last major junction. If then you commit south. So Meru is just down this road, Mali up at Chini Kidogo. Now I'm really enjoying this trip. As you can see, it's even starting to get busier. I'm starting to see city traffic. I'm starting to see Nduvis. So we should be getting to Meru uh, very, 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 very fast. Let me hit up the Kyo. Nice. It's not that dark. Nigari ndi kona tint, but giza si mingi sana. But it's definitely getting dark. Anyway, um, I want to thank you for watching this vlog. I really appreciate the time you guys take to watch our vlogs. And um, I want to encourage you. If you're looking for a vehicle, head over to kaiancaro.com and uh, check out the many vehicles that we are stocking. Tukona magari, mob, apo, apo, tukona, tukona gari, kwanzi, ata kuna moja tumepeana leo. There's a car we've given out today as I shoot this uh, vlog. Yeah, 200,000. And it, how did we get a 200,000 car? Someone brought it so that we advertise it on the marketplace. So head over to kaiancaro.com, click on marketplace. Now, come on, attack easy selected cars that we have uh, bought and shipped to Kenya. You can go to the our car section, uh, our, our stock in Kenya section, and you're going to see all the nice cars that you're stocking in Kenya. So let me just overtake these guys. Ooh. Yeah, and if you want us to sell your vehicle again, Bring the car to the showroom and we are going to sort you out. So we are in beautiful Meru. I'm really enjoying myself. Hey, there was a close shave, I'm in. So we are almost getting to Meru and um what's at one? I just hope it's not going to be too late. At least no apathy drone shot more at all. And uh, with 10 minutes to actually 15 minutes to the top of the hour, we have arrived at our destination, Meru. Beautiful feeling. I'm very happy. Last time I I almost uh, replaced the windscreen in Chuka. <laughs> like any at least na shukuru mungu tumefika huko tujakuwa na major drama. It looks very nice and tremshe kioni wanyesha whatever I can see. Nice. Taka fiti. Oh, apa kuna this is like a this is a polytechnic, eh? Yes. Mwana ni Meru Polytechnic. Naona comrades pale comrades wametulia hawana pressure. Ah, hawana hawana book da. Zile ni hostels, ama ni apartments, wow, zina kafiti. Uh, there's, there's actually a lot of money in Meru. Huku uh, 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 kuna kwangana pesa. It's a very, very beautiful place. So I'm going to look for a nice restaurant, kama kawaida, tuende, tukule, uh, tupigi mastori kidogo. And then we set course back to Nairobi. Kesho is a working day, so I need to drop my people back. But anyway, thanks for the company. Thanks for taking your time to watch my video. Na pia endele, bethe subscribe to the channel na uweke ile, ile kengele. Ndiyo niki drop some goodness, unakuwa mtu wakonza kucheki. So I really appreciate, pia uki, in your free time, pitia kaiancaro.com. Support us, either kuja tukuzie gari, either kuja ununue parts kwetu, ama ukuje pia tuku importie gari. So there are so many things we do under the Kai and Karo, uh, nini, uh, brand. So I'm really thankful and um, until we meet again. Honestly, I don't care. I don't